Hi, this is Dr. John Bergduff. In this video, we're going to look at a, an example of problem solving. Problem solving generally refers to an, encountering some sort of real world situation that does not necessarily neatly fit into some known equation you can plug into or known formula. Something where you have to come up with an original strategy uh, that you may not find in a book somewhere, but you've got to figure out on your own. This fits in with the section that we have in our book focusing on Polya's four-step uh, approach to problem solving. And in this particular case, I want to show you the power potentially of drawing a diagram. In a situation where a diagram may not immediately be obvious. So here's an example. A convenience store sells several snack foods at the register, apples, bananas, oranges, pears, and donuts. An apple costs six cents more than a pear, an orange costs three cents less than a banana, a banana costs five cents less than an apple, a donut costs five cents more than an orange. Arrange the snack fruit foods from cheapest to most expensive. Now there are potentially dozens of ways that this problem could be solved. Not necessarily just the way that I'm going to show you, but as you can see, this is not a geometric equation, uh, uh, problem or anything that just naturally inspires you to draw a diagram, but I want to show you how that is one way you could solve this. What I'm going to do basically is think about, because I don't know which ones of these snack foods are cheaper or most expensive, putting their prices on a number line. So I'm going to draw a number line here and notice that nowhere in here do they bother to tell you exact prices of anything. So rather than putting numbers on this number line, I'm just going to mark it off like this and I'm going to be looking at the relative locations of these different snack foods rather than the exact numerical values. Now, again, you don't have any specific uh, values to pin to, but if you start picking some of the different statements, you can relate one uh, snack food to another, at least. For example, this first line says that an apple costs six cents more than a pear. Now, I don't know what a pear costs, but let me just sort of randomly put it somewhere. I'm going to put the price of the pear right here. That is a random choice. Once I pin that down, however, I know that an apple costs six cents more, so if I count six places to the right of that, that would be the cost of the apple. One, two, three, four, five, six puts me right there. So I at least have a sense of the relative locations of the pear and the apple. Now, if I go to the next row, it talks about oranges and bananas. And I could do something similar, but the problem is I don't know where the orange and the banana fit together with the pear and the apple. Uh, I could start with the pear and the apple sort of arbitrarily first, but not knowing how oranges and bananas connect in with apples and pears, I really don't know where to put the, the, uh, the orange and the banana from the step two. If that happens, that's not too bad. We can just go on to the next step and see if that gives us anything that will, will help us uh, uh, kind of uh, connect in. So going to the next row, it says an apple, a banana, excuse me, a banana costs five cents less than an apple. Now this is helpful because I do know uh, where the apples are. And if the bananas cost five cents less, I just count five places to the left. One, two, three, four, five. And that tells me that the banana would uh, belong right here, five places to the left of the apple. Then I can go back to the previous line because that referenced a banana. And the fact that an orange costs three cents less than a banana means I can start at the banana position and count three places to the left, one, two, three. And that tells me that the orange would be right here. And then there's one more um, piece of data in here, and maybe there's enough to connect that in somehow. So let's take a look at that one. Uh, it says finally that a donut costs five cents more than an orange. We know where the orange is. So if we count five more than that, one, two, three, four, five, that tells me that the donut would go right here. 
And that takes care, I believe, of all the snack foods they mentioned. We have the apples, we have the bananas, we have the oranges, the pears, and the donuts all listed there. And although we don't have exact prices, we have relative prices. What's cheapest, what's next cheapest, and so forth. So arranging the snack foods from cheapest to most expensive, we would have the orange first, followed by the pear. This comes straight out of my number line. The banana, the donut, and finally the apple as the most expensive of these items. Is this the only way to solve this problem? Absolutely not. It just gives you a tool uh, creating a diagram that you may find useful sometimes when you solve uh, a, a new and unusual problem. Hope that helps.